Goldian Finch Where to find Goldian Finches? A bird called the Goldian Finch was historically common throughout much of northern Australia. Only a few locations in the Northern Territory, the Kimberley region of Western Australia, and occasionally as far east as Queensland still experience it today. It favors broad meadows and plains with a nearby body of water and plenty of eucalyptus trees with smooth bark. The species needs a specific combination of grass species to feed on. Goldian Finch Nests Several Goldian Finch pairs may share grass nests within tree hollows. Goldian Finch Scientific Name The scientific name of the Goldian Finch is Erythrura Gouldii. Gouldii is simply the Latinized name of the British ornithologist John Gould, who first categorized this finch and named it after his wife, hence the alternate name Lady Goldian Finch. The Lady Goldian Finch is sometimes placed in the genus of Erythrura with other parrot finches or its own separate genus, Chloebia. It also belongs to the family of tropical Asian and Australian finches known as Astrildidae. The Goldian finch exhibits a true rainbow of colors. Most birds have a red, yellow, or black cowl on the head, a turquoise or a light green band around the shoulders, purple back and wings, and a yellow abdomen fading to white. The main difference between the sexes is that the males exhibit brighter purple feathers, while the females have a paler purple breast. The Goldian finch is a social species that gather in large flocks of hundreds outside of the breeding season. Goldian finch diet Like many other species of finch, the bird's stout and strong beak is well adapted for cracking open and eating seeds. They eat up to 35% of their body weight every single day. What does the Goldian finch eat? The diet of the Goldian finch consists of several different kinds of grass seeds throughout the year based on availability. Its favorite foods appear to be ripe or half-ripe sorghum seeds, which occur during the wet season, but during the dry season, it also forages on the ground for any grass seeds it can find. Goldian Finch Predators, Threats, and Conservation Status Over the last few centuries, the Goldian Finch has faced numerous threats from habitat loss, especially from rampant fires, predators, herbivorous competitors, diseases, and parasites, such as mites. This species paid a heavy price for its striking colors, which make them a conspicuous and noticeable target for trappers and predators alike. Large numbers of them were trapped by humans for private use. Australia banned trapping and exportation in the 1980s, though the species continues to be bred in captivity. The Yukon Red List currently considers them to be near-threatened. The Australian government lists them as endangered. What eats the Goldian Finch? The Goldian Finch is usually preyed upon by feral cats, hawks, and snakes. The bird is most likely to fall victim to predators within the first several weeks of life before it has become fully independent. As the breeding season approaches, usually between December and April, the male finch puts on a brilliant courtship display by expanding his chest, flopping out his feathers, and bobbing his head up and down. After they pair up, the female produces one egg per day until she's laid between four and eight of them. After about two weeks of incubation, the chicks hatch from the eggs with no feathers and blue nodules at the corner of the beaks to help the parents find their mouths in the dark. Although completely dependent on their parents for food and protection, these chicks will gain their full flight feathers after about three to four weeks of life. At this stage, both males and females sport a duller green-gray plumage color. Only after they grow their full adult feathers between eight months and a year old will their sex become obvious, right around the time they reach sexual maturity and begin breeding. These birds live up to eight years in captivity, though many wild birds do not survive their adolescence and have a shorter lifespan. Millions of these finches once roamed across Australia. Now only 2,500 mature individuals remain in the wild, although population numbers appear to be stable. These finches rely on healthy and mature trees, so conservationists have focused their efforts on fire management and habitat maintenance. 